everyone and welcome back to my channel Skylar Speaks. Today we're going to be doing something very awesome, um, something very new for this channel. We're going to be doing creating our very first Shook Look Cookbook Look for our face where we're going to be doing a festival 3D full theatrical cherry blossom menage on my face um, with less than $12 worth of product. Please y'all be shook because this is going to be awesome. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know my full on goal for this channel. Um, if all goes well and I get support from viewers like you, um, I want to be using the proceeds from this channel to create my own line of makeup um, that will be very like user friendly. It'll be like the apple of makeup in which you get the full face of makeup in one palette instead of having to buy a million different things and spend all your money on lipstick, highlighter, blah, blah, blah. All that will be in one box. Um, haven't thought of a name yet. Don't steal my idea. Um, and it'll be awesome. It'll give all those luxury makeup brands that run for their money since they want you all to think that you need to buy all of this to do that. Anyway, just so you know about my face routine, all I use is one $7 palette that I got off of Amazon for cream, contour, and um, cover up. And I use a cheap primer and I use a blue purple setting, uh, or blue purple highlighter as a setting powder, and that's about it. So I really only use about $10 worth of makeup on a daily basis, and I still am able to come up with awesome looks with that. So I wanna share that with you guys, especially now because of this whole lockdown thing. None of us have a lot of money, but it's still important to feel your best. So before we get started, I'm gonna go get all the items that we're gonna be using for this look so that I can go through each one and explain what I'm gonna be using it for. So let me get right to that. Okay, everybody, so I got the stuff that I wanted to show you. Um, just so you know, the inspiration for our book today is this card that, um, something you may not know, me and Mike have been having a very hard week together. It's been hard being locked up together. So I wanted to read something that would remind me of why we're in this together in the first place. Um, so I wrote him this card and it says to a man who doesn't mean the world to me, but is my world and everything in it. I love you to the moon and back many to many more summers under our tree together. So those of you who actually know me personally, you know, I have this amazing cherry tree in my front yard. It is the most beautiful tree in the world. And me and Michael like to spend our summers outside in the chairs underneath of it. So that is what that card means. Anyway, so just so you know what this routine was before we started, um, I have this Il Maquillage that was a promotional, it's a, um, it was a promotional thing that was sent to me. Um, it is a primer. It's very good. Not as good as the Avon one I had, but hey, don't tell them that. Then I like to go over that with just a normal brush. Um, and this is my contour highlights. Um, concealer palette that I use. It was $7 on Amazon. It has the green, the pink, and all the colors that you could possibly need to contour and conceal on your face. Once I put that in, I like to use this pink 50 cent beauty blender that I got off of Amazon and just buff and press that into my face. Um, after that, I use just a regular brush for like um, cover up and stuff. And I use this Alternative Rock Purple Blue Highlighter as a setting powder. I just pat that in on my face after I do my contour. Um, and I like to set it with some, I don't have setting spray right now, so I'm using this hairspray, which is great. We're gonna be using it to lock in everything and keep our face tacky and ready to add all the crazy stuff we're going to use for our look. Which brings me to the next part. Okay, so now to the actual things we're gonna be using on our cherry tree look. Um, I was going to use little pieces of cut up toilet paper for this part, but hey, we all know how that is. So, um, this is some flowers from a sperm tree, as me and my friend uh, Jolie like to call it, since it smells like human excrement. Um, as the flowers for our look. We're also going to be using some dried baby's breath from one of the uh, bouquets that Michael gave me over this year. Um, we're also going to be using this. It is a peel off face mask. It's very pink 
and pearly and tacky and it's going to be great for adhering our branches and stuff. We are going to be using, and some of this stuff may come off as expensive to you. However, I had a BoxyCharm um, subscription, which is $20 a month, and you get a whole bunch of stuff in it. So this stuff was really, so this stuff was only like a dollar or two dollars each. Um, this is a Morphe palette. We're going to be using the dark brown as the base of the tree, which will also be my contour. We are going to be using this pure festival palette which has sparkles and pink and all that other stuff in it we are going to be using some basic brushes and we are going to be using this watercolor um, palette for um, eye makeup and this eye makeup brush to be doing the roots and branches of our tree um, and we will be using uh, some other just basic um, eye palettes with pinks and stuff like that in them. This is a Ace Beauty Grandiose palette with pinks, oranges, and fuchsias. We'll be using that to color our flowers and make them look more cherry tree-like. Um, and then once everything is done, we're going to be using a basic hairspray to set everything in place which by the way before you begin it's a good idea because flowers like to wilt as we all know so just you know heavily spray your flowers and they will tack up and dry so we're going to do that before we begin and let's get started Hi everybody so as you can see before i started the tree i wanted to do like the side that it's going to be on, I wanted to add like some eye effect there. So um, what I did is I sprayed some of the spray to create a base to put the eyeshadow on. I then patted an opaque white onto the lid. Um, and then I added some hot pink and I put a dark red in the crease, blended it out, and then added some glitter to buy the water duct and underneath of the wing, which I added the wing very last. I do the wing last because if you do it first before you do your actual eyeshadow, it tends to get blurry and discolored and it just does not look good. So now we're actually gonna get started on the tree itself. Okay, so before we actually start drawing the tree, which I'm not going to show you all of it because it's just going to be very time consuming and hard to videotape and my phone is a pain in the ass, but we're going to take the Morphe palette and we're going to take a contouring brush because the base of the tree is going to be my contour on my left hand side. We're going to take the darkest of that there. Um, and just put it on the brush, apply like so, and then we're going to just create a darker contour for the base of the tree. Like that. And I want it to be very like special effects there. So we're also going to highlight above the base of the tree. So I just put some liquid highlighter on my hand, put some on the brush there. Um, there's still some pink makeup on the highlighter, but just gonna like brighten up the contour there. So as you can see, it's very like, okay, that is the base of the tree. Now we're actually going to start drawing parts of the tree, but it's only going to be an outline because I'm going to have to put the face mask there to attach the branches and stuff. So just give me one second. So as you can see, I started the tree on my face. It's just a basic outline. So that when we attach the rest of the 3d effects to it, um, it's going to really fill out. So we're using the black, um, eyeliner, uh, watercolor. Um, I don't have any water, so I'm actually using my coffee right now to do this. Um, and just basically just, you know, I went along the line of the contour we did and I'm just going to, just so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to darken the tree a little bit. 
have it coming out of my hairline a little bit. Now, after like the base of it is done, I'm gonna add a smoky effect just to like add a little bit of more magic and pop to it. So I'm gonna go back to the Morphe palette, back with this brush to the dark. Actually, I'm gonna add a little shimmer. So we're gonna use these shimmery things right here. I'm just gonna lightly fan out the roots of the tree. Add like a dirt effect there. Okay, so then we're going to get to the tacking. So now that the tree, the base of the tree is done, I took all the little flowers off. I'm going to just respray them with some hairspray there. Just let them dry and get tacky. And then we are going to take the fan brush again. And you're going to want to wash your brush after you do this because you don't want it to ruin your future makeup. Um, and I'm going to very lightly add some of this face mask to the parts where I want to tack the flowers. So I just want to create a little bit of tackiness. Only do little parts at a time because you don't want it to A, mess up the coloration of the tree itself and you don't want it to dry too fast and then you have to keep adding more and it's just gonna look weird so we're gonna start adding our flowers so as you can see the flowers are sticking so we're just gonna keep doing all that I'll be right back okay so as you can see I put the flower I got most of the flowers up there um, you can see the roots of the tree coming down and then I put just put some of the flowers behind my ear so it's a seamless um, transition from my face, the 3D effects of my face, to my hair itself. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more pigmentation to my cheek. Um, some more blush basically because we want to make this look really pretty and just flawless. So I'm really not going to use a blush. I'm going to use the same pigmented um, stuff that I used in my eyeshadow here. Just gonna really highlight that, push it up under, to just to add like a effect there, and then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender here. Just kind of buff it in, give it that airbrushed look that you want. Okay. So you get an idea of what's coming on here. So I haven't decided if I want to make them pink or not because they look really pretty white. So we might just finish this look soon, but I'm just going to do a little brain processing and I'll be right back. So lastly, I'm just going to add a little glitter moment to the clefts of my lip here. It's just some gold glitter over top of some like fluorescent pink gloss. And now we have a very pretty look. Um, as you can tell, it's very summery, very festively. It'd be perfect for like someone who wants a really cute wedding in the woods or something like that. And it's just very easy to do. It took like zero money and bitch, you look fantastic. Okay. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed our episode today. Um, if you're just living and loving the content of my channel thus far, please subscribe. I can't do anything unless you guys subscribe to me. It takes two seconds. So just please click the button so you can get any more, you can get more looks for the Shook Look cookbook and you can, you know, go to Coachella with some flowers on your head. How about that? Anyway, until next time, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.